Here diagram, we have two battery connect together and they ask us what's the current. And there are two methods to do this. I mean, they're all the same method, but different ways of thinking about how to solve this. The first method is to kind of stick to your V equals to IR. But since we have batteries involved here, let's, let's say the battery total EMF equals to current flowing through the entire loop times the R total. Here we have a problem. If you look at the battery, oh, this side is positive, this side is negative, this side is positive, this side is negative. They're actually fighting each other. Who wins? You see who is the bigger one. 12 versus 8. Of course, the 12 votes will win. Lah. So if they are fighting each other, you take the bigger one minus the smaller one. So 12 minus 8 equals to some current times the total resistance. So these resistors are all in parallel inside this whole loop. So we can take 1 plus 0 0.5. So give us a current of 2.67 amps. So be careful this one. If they fight each other, take the bigger one minus the smaller one. This is the, uh, this is the hand waving method, the roughly roughly method. But actually how we know to minus or plus. If you want to know the original equation, then you have to look at Kirchhoff's law. And it's recommended that you know this method because if the circuit gets more complicated, too many batteries, you also don't know where to look already. So Kirchhoff's law is telling us, there's two versions of it. The one I prefer is that the sum of potential change, potential difference in a circuit is zero in a loop. Another form that you may see, which is equivalent, is the sum of EMF equals the sum of potential drop in a loop. I recommend you know how to think in terms of both. They're actually the same equation written in different forms. I'll show you a little bit later. Let's look at the first one first, this one. Sum of potential. Okay, so let's say I start from this point and I move in a loop. Let me write out all the EMF first. So EMF, there is going to be one right at the 12 volts as I move throughout the loop like this. One loop. I make a journey. I come back at the same spot. This first journey, I'm actually riding the EMF up like an escalator. So if I go up, a battery, this is always a rise if I go from negative to positive. Because this is from low potential to high potential because the battery gives you a boost. So that's going to be a rise. I give positive four. So positive 12. Let's look at the other batteries. Then I go, go, go to the bottom. Ooh, now I'm going this way. I am riding from high potential to low potential so i'm going down so this is a drop in emf so minus eight i go down the escalator okay this is a high potential to low potential okay no other emf ready oh. okay let's look at the resistors now i'm traveling across resistors first one is going through like this in this direction is there a rise or drop you kind of think of this la current flow ah, is always for resistors from high potential, you flow, flow, flow down to low potential. There are no space really. Low potential. For resistors, so this is actually a drop. You decrease in EMF. So I drop by V, which is I times R. So current, I don't know what's the current. Uh, my I times 1. Drop. Remember, current will flow from high potential to low potential. Then another way is uh, one more down here. Okay, I'm traveling from here to here following direction of current. So from high to low, it's going to be a drop. So for drop, I put minus. Current times R. So after all this traveling through my entire loop, I come back to the same spot. I should be at the same potential. So this all add together should equal to zero. Huh. This is actually the same as our other equation on the left side. If you cannot recognize it, let me rearrange a little bit for you. I put all the EMF on one side. Then I put all the potential drop through all the resistor, put on the other side. Resistor is always potential drop. EMF, it depends. Sometimes it can rise, it can drop, depending on which side you are moving. So all the other thing put on the other side, this will be I1 plus 0 0.5. This is all the potential drop. This is all the EMF added together. So hence, we have gone to this second form of the equation already. Sum of EMF, 
sum of potential drop, which is the same as what we did just now. So two methods. This first method can apply la, for basic equation, but it's more complicated lady or recommended to use this idea. As you travel around a circuit, you go up, you come down, you go up, come down, but you come back to the same spot, you should be at the same potential. Okay? So best answer here is 2.7. That's how we can find this. Alright.